going to ask for a little bit of help with this work. So I'm going to ask for a friend. Oh, you want to help me get some water in here? Okay. And Lisa, I'm going to ask you to put a teaspoon seed on the soap jar. We have a teaspoon. Can you put a teaspoon of soap in this container? Joshua, next to the paint supply, there is a basket with, let's call it the dirty laundry. There are uh, rags in there that need to be washed. Would you bring one rag? Is everybody following Joshua with their eyes? Because we just put that dirty laundry there. So this is our dirty laundry. washboard boys and girls. Long time ago before washing machines a lot of people used a washboard. It's kind of like a textured piece of metal and the friction, it's called friction, gets the dirt out of the fabric that you're trying to wash. So you do this. wash their clothes anymore like this. Obviously we have washing machines. But who knows? Maybe if the electricity goes out one day. Watch this soap, this water, it's kind of soapy. I would hold it up so you can kind of see it. The water is kind of soapy, right? I put soap in it. And now, after I cleaned my washcloth here, I'm going to squeeze the soap out of it. Can you watch how I'm squeezing? It's kind of different than the sponge. When we do sponge, we just go like this. But when we do laundry, it's kind of like, it's called ringing. Try again, I'm gonna put a lot of muscle into it. Okay. Now I'm going to pour as much of the soapy water and the soap in here. Yeah, it runs. Now I will spread my soapy cloth and I will use the fresh water. That's why I need two of them. So this water is called rinsing water because it doesn't have soap in it. I just want to rinse my cloth. Water is coming 
working out without any soap. It's not soapy anymore. Kathleen, do you want to show us our new handy dandy? Yeah. Please watch. Kathleen and I thought really hard. Where can we dry our cloth? It might drip a little bit. Not if, you, not if you mm, use a lot of muscle. Yes, this is true. Dry it. Squeeze it. Bring it. Is it look for a Good thing we have a stool. You see where the close pins are, and it will drip right into the sink, just like our sponges, okay? And you can only do one cloth, okay? So far, we, we just have enough for one cloth. I use one um, rag to dry my hands. Now I need to get this basin ready for the next person. my apron. And the home of this work is where we keep all the scrubbing work. That's where these washing works go. The second work I want to show you is a science work. The name of this work is surface tension. It's very hard to show this work when you guys are so far away. There's something to be said about, honestly, if you can do this at a table and kind of have the coin at your eye level. I am going to use maybe the shelf because the shelf would be my eye level. So if you're sitting at your table, you can kneel on the floor and you do this, okay? At your table. And I am going to see how many drops of water this penny is going to be able to hold with the surface tension that's the edge of the penny pushing that water in. What happens is the surface of the water, boys and girls, is not going to be straight. It's going to be like a dome because the surface of the penny is going to push on the water upward and it would be like a dome, not a flat surface like this. And the best way to see that is this way. So 
Are you guys ready to count with me? Wait one second, Dorothy. Go on. People cannot kneel up. Where are you walking? Every person who's trying to Not everybody can see. The only way to see this is if you do it if you do it um, at your table. Just so let's just show you how to do it. Just and then do the best you can. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 